Okay guys, welcome back to Old Time Garage here and we're gonna, uh, why am I saying Old Time Garage? You already had an ad, you already know it's me. Anyway, yeah, my voice is still fucked up. All because of Dave still. Anyway, let's go see what's going on here. We've got some updates for you guys and we'll check it out. Okay, let's go in the shop and see what's happening. Okay. Oh, there's Dave over there. He's carrying out a door. Can you handle that on your own? Morning, everybody. Okay. Dave. Get this crap out of my way, will you? I'm doing a video right now. I got to show the YouTube fans. I got no time for you. I got no time for myself either. Okay. Okay, guys. Anyway, here we go. You remember the little Mercury Monarch? Anyway, we've, uh, yeah, we got dust and dirt falling out. We've repainted all the trunk lips and edges, as you can see. We've done the night, or Dave, I should say, did it because he's standing right here. So, he, you know, if I say he didn't do it, he'll think I'm taking credit for it. So he's done it in a nice satin black. Isn't that right, Dave? Okay, so we got the trunk lid back on. It's all good. <clears throat> As you can see, we've got all the door edges on the driver's side done. Got the door on this side done. It's looking good. And if you recall, we are down to just a couple wires left. All the wiring is pretty much complete now in the car. We're getting her. So, this gentleman is going to be super happy, all excited. Do a little walk around there. You can probably hear Dave in the background coughing and hacking. Now you know why I'm still sick with my voice. But there it is. Now. <clears throat> oh, fuck you. <laughs> now, if you guys remember a long time ago, if you're out there watching Brandon, there's a video out there and it's showing a 71 Chef pickup that Brandon brought me. Well, here we go. Brandon's back in Calgary. He was living down here. He got a job in Calgary, so he's moved to Calgary, and he's left the truck with me, and he got to get her done. He wants to finish it off. And uh, then I do believe he's only back there for a year and a half, then he's coming, moving back here again. So anyway, he got a job offer that he couldn't refuse, so he's gone to Calgary. But anyway, so here we go. Let's get on the Brandon's truck. For all you guys out there, like 71 Chevy pickups. If you recall, it was on airbags. It has to be finished off. We have to finish plumbing and all the air and uh, wire it all up. We have to get the glass in the truck and we have to make a tonneau cover for it. <clears throat> We've, uh, there was a good shot of it inside. Now it was all rusted down in here. So I mainly do it, you know, these videos are good because like I say, Brandon's in Calgary so he gets to see what's going on. So Brandon, if you're out there, all your rust bubbles that were here, what happened is it looks like at one time this truck, because it's a strange place for it to rust up that high. It looked like it had been in an accident, or maybe there was rust in the in the past in there, but someone had brazed it all, and it was just bubbling up through. So anyway, Dave ground it all down. I got in there. I cut it out. So basically from the line right up here, your, your trim line here, cut her all down, right down to the very bottom, just above, actually just a little above the cab corner. We put new metal in, and Dave did all the body work. So now we're going to get the, we got the paint. We're going to blend that out. Dave will blend that out, and you'll never even know it was, uh, there was a problem there. So anyway, <clears throat> here you go, Brandon. Your 454 is in there with your fancy valve covers. There you are. What we also did here was you had a lot of the, uh, you can see this, this is all the airlines. You had them kind of ran up and up and through between the shocks and stuff. So I've got them all secured. I put them in a rubber hose. I splice rubber hose, run them through a rubber hose just for safety. Then I've, I've, I've used the, the grommets, as you guys can see right here. They're steel grommet with rubber around, so they're holding everything in line, nice and tight, up against the frame, out of the way of everything. Done it on both sides here for them. And uh, it's all tied up good. And we're working on the wiring. Brandon had a lot of the wiring was cut off on this truck for some reason under here, and it wasn't hooked up. So we're, we're getting all the wiring taken care of there for them. So uh, that's, our, that's our next big step on that one that we've been working on here. So there you go, Brandon. Your motor's in. We're getting close. Uh, it's, it's May 1st today. So I'm hoping to have this truck done and finished and out of here on July 1st. That's a good way for, for Brandon to spend a long weekend driving his truck. If he's down here, if he comes down. So there we go there. So <clears throat> let me get turned around here. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. I tell you, fucking Dave in this cold thing, man. I can't get I can't get rid of it out of my throat. I blame it all on him. But anyway, somebody asked a question here online, so we're gonna um, we're gonna go over here. Let's check this out. Okay, so the question. Oh, hang on a sec here. 
Sorry, guys. The question came from a guy named, uh, his code here is Zig Gassed Up. Zig Gassed Up. That's quite the name. I'm just going to call you Ziggy. I don't know if you like it or not, but that's too bad, I guess. Anyway, his question. Are you listening, Dave? Quit being so rude. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> his question was, I like your style. He's obviously talking to me in this, this, this remark, not you. You think? I know. Okay. So what can you tell me about lining up the doors on a 38 Chevy standard sedan? The doors open and close with no problems, but the alignment is way off. Can I shim the body to solve the alignment, <clears throat> or am I going to have to cut some stuff? It is an old car, and most of the original ones I have seen had the same fitment, which is pretty poor. Okay, okay, well let's, uh, let's go over here to Dave, technical Dave. So what, what, do, what do you got to say to Ziggy? Well, testically speaking, <laughs> it's a four-door sedan, so it's very flimsy, so yes, you'll more likely have to shim up the body mounts because of all the twist and everything else in the body. Once you got that to a great point, your doors should be fairly even all the way around, providing your hinge pins are good. Now, if worst case scenario, if it's still a bad gap, I'm oh, sure all my hammers have disappeared again. I didn't touch Here anything. Doesn't matter, they still disappear. Oh. Worst case scenario, take a peening hammer. You can mask up around the edge that's too close, let's say right here, it's too tight. You make your gap to what you want it to be, let's say. So we have a little bit of metal showing. Take your peening hammer and just keep tapping it in until it's like flush to your tape. Hit a little bit of the grinder, not much because you don't want to go through the skin and that will give you a better gap there. You cannot do that too far though. So anyhow, most important thing though about doors is do it with the striker off. Make sure that everything's lined up. No striker on this door. And then when it's all lined up nicely, it should be no problem putting your striker on. I'm going to get around here. Door. Hang on one sec here and having the door line up really nice to close super nice. Now that is hotter than two bears making out in a forest fire. It would even give Pinocchio a woody. <laughs> well, well now. <laughs> well, well, there you have it guys. That was Dave's technical tips of the week. I want all you guys out there to write back to me and tell me what we should call Dave because every time we'll do a video and Dave's in it, we're going to get Dave to give you guys some technical tips. So we, should we call him the professor? Some people are calling him Boyd because they said he looked like Boyd. He was very, oh, he was very upset over that. So we got to come up with a name for Dave. And, uh, and there's no technical tips unless uh, there's <laughs> been questions brought in about something. Because I'm running out of ideas because I only have one. <laughs> Yeah, I know what your idea is. It involves a girl at the bank. <laughs> I don't think so, homie. <laughs> anyway, okay, guys. There you go. So that's what's going on here at Old Time Garage today. We're having a good time here. It's always a good time at Old Time. So, um, yeah. So anyway, we'll see you later. We're going to get right back to work. It's first thing in the morning. Okay, big thumbs up. Remember, it's always a good time. See ya.